Good Wednesday morning, everyone. It's the 17th of June. Welcome to Asia First as day breaks here in Singapore. I'm Julie Yu. Good morning. I'm Adam Bakhtia coming to you this mid-morning from our mid-week, I should say, from our CNA studio here in the Lion City with your top international news and from the world of business. First up here, your headlines this hour. Asian countries on a collision course. South Korea is threatening a strong response if North Korea takes more action at the border following the decision by authorities in Pyongyang to blow up an inter-Korean joint liaison office. Meantime, India enraged after at least 20 of its soldiers die in a clash with Chinese forces in a disputed Himalayan border area. Major breakthrough, scientists in the UK cheer after an inexpensive and widely used steroid known as dexamethasone is shown in trials to save the lives of seriously ill COVID-19 patients. It's an old drug. Um, some people would say it's a very boring drug. It's been around for 60 odd years. It's very cheap. This is a drug which can immediately be used across the world for this condition. And that's such an important thing. Well, details of that drug's apparent potency injected some hope into Wall Street. But it was the record retail sales data in the U.S. that was the real driver, with Americans on a post-lockdown spending spree in May. Meantime, the boss of the Federal Reserve, though, says a significant uncertainty remains about the timing and strength of the recovery of the world's number one economy. Much of that uncertainty comes from uncertainty about the path of the disease and the effects of measures to contain it. Until the public is confident that this disease is contained, a full recovery is unlikely. Well, we begin this hour with the latest from the Korean Peninsula. Heat rising as we see the swift deterioration of relations between Seoul and Pyongyang, both drifting further away from peace and reconciliation by the day. Well, North Korea is now saying it will re-enter border areas at Kaesong Industrial Complex and Mount Kumgang, which uh, were, were disarmed under inter-Korean agreements. Now, this comes days after Pyongyang threatened to take military action over the sending of leaflets by activists from South Korea.